that is the sound of magic created by one man only in this case me opening a beer can so today our topic is one man bands and why they suck but also what are the benefits of having only one man band so-called bedroom project but without further ado let's take some beer today i'm gonna have some Mikkeles hazy organic ipa well quality is the name of the game here once again my poor poor pouring skills but i don't care let's give it a shot mm, yummy times one man band is an always both an easy and challenging task we all know these so-called projects where only one man does all the work maybe excluding uh, studio work but that's kind of a beside the point but also can be included so never mind it's not always about just one man having its view and then going to the studio and releasing an album and all that stuff what are the good things of having one man in the band well let's think a bit first of all you don't have to have any kind of quarrels with uh, other band members your own sole view of the music is only one that matters there won't be no criticism there won't be disagreements there no won't be uh, challenges with scheduling arranging you know rehearsals and whatnot you're just basically uh, doing music by yourself for yourself and that's it really simple at least if you have the required skill set um, in which you just do the music like for example uh, if you are a talented with guitar drums vocals bass you have pretty much all it takes to do metal album and maybe even record it. now of course this list sounds so much more simple than what is the truth in that first of all in order to uh, be a worthwhile musician player of instruments with all the, th the list I just mentioned well obviously you have to have the talent the time to rehearse all those stuff and even as with that you have to kind of compose uh, write lyrics and all that stuff this is assuming that you are the one and only member in your band now if we just cut a little bit of corners obviously you can have a one-man band and you know just you know place guitars drums maybe keyboards and do the vocals and just you know hire a drummer who has no absolutely whatsoever to say in your music he or she is just a hired person to do this task it might be also a vocalist but usually vocalists have more ego and at least something to say about lyrics not always but more often than drummers same applies to bass players as drummers just do your tracks and get the hell out of here it's like that guitars is a different kind because most people at least in metal bands anyway do some sort of composing with guitar and uh, if you're not playing the guitar well then you have to compose using other instruments and drums are not good for that we all know that but basically you could do just you know uh, bass keyboards drums and then let some someone else play the tracks but that is not usually the thing here but if we assume that you have the required skill set to do all the instruments you need you might not even use bass or keyboards but usually drums and guitars are the necessary this necessities or at least bass and drums but if we assume that one is skilled with guitar he can probably use bass and basically everybody can do sort of screaming singing growling whatnot so these are all very possible scenarios and if you just have don't have the talent to do the drums well you can always hire or ask your friend to do a favor and then it's the studio time and boom you get over with it uh, these bands however have problems even if they are skilled with all the instruments needed they also need to have a certain 
vision when it comes to the music also recording maybe mixing and mastering skills so obviously knowing your uh, equipment thoroughly also programs if one is operating with a computer rather than full-blown studio there are also different skill sets and talents one needs to have or acquire make no mistake this is a very lengthy process not only just you know first compose the songs you know do the riffs and all that stuff but also to uh, reach the level that you're really happy with your content to uh, create this music first of all you solve all the riffs and okay you're fine you start recording boom bass maybe not that different not that hard maybe unless you want to go somewhere deeper somewhere your skill set with your guitar is not just enough um then you obviously have to have the drums and the vocals but you can pretty much do all of that stuff at home vocals a little bit harder and drums also unless you're going for all electric in which case uh the sound is very different but they are all very possible scenarios and you know recording drums at studio and the rest at, at your home um it's not that big a deal also um uh, doing vocals at rehearsal place or studio once again possible and not that time consuming so doing all kind of studio work maybe at home at your i don't know bedroom man cave garage whatever what have you all very possible scenarios if you have the time the skills at the understanding of all the different phases all the different equipment program and all that stuff so once you start listing all that stuff it suddenly becomes a lot bigger than at first you just thought it it's not just you know like mowing the lawn you also need to paint the house build the roof etc sorry for my bad metaphors probably a lot of uh, better ways to do that but this isn't even the worst and that i'm gonna get you after this tip so you have all the skill sets you have the talent you have the studio material you have the equipment the program the technicalities technicalities you are needed but one big thing is still missing and that my friends is another pair of ears that and the brain between these two uh listening devices the thing is most bedroom people well bedroom metal people i mean uh are kind of a prone to uh figure out their own faults when they're creating music either they are way too sloppy with what they create they just basically record everything or this is how it seems to me as a review guy or metalhead in general the thing is while these people could actually benefit you know of other people and by that i don't mean your uh, significant other because they are usually too close i don't mean your mother father sister brother your mistress lover whoever who is really close to that and especially not the people who don't understand jack shit about your music it needs to be someone who has both a critical eye and ears towards the music but who also understands the genre you're trying to deliver here and that is not enough it has to be a person who is able and willing to criticize what you have done i'm talking about you here right not people in general so when you have uh, these uh, bunch of songs ready to uh, be recorded ready to go to the studio and whatnot before you actually do that these bedroom metalhead composers should have person or more likely more than one don't go overboard it then it's out of question no need for that but maybe one or two three max i guess of kind of people who can actually and be honest and frank about it and not just you know give you the stuff you're expecting like hey what do you think of this track and oh oh yeah everything you create is just masterful that's of no help they should be people who uh, can be critical who can be honest who don't screw with you who don't waste your time 
but who would actually uh, say be kind of a what is the word I'm using constructive criticism basically they can give you an ideas or at least hints that maybe this part doesn't actually fit here maybe this vocal should be redone maybe the guitar sound is not too good and all that stuff basically in one word produce they should be producers in a way I know this word has a kind of a negative uh, tone to it some people just like shun away from it like oh man I'm just doing underground black metal I don't need producers but what in essence this person called producer is and should be doing is give you feedback that is the like minimum thing he or she is supposed to do I mean it's not like producer always you know those solos does vocals or says like hey you need to recruit an orchestra of Bavarian beer heads to sing you a choir that is not the point the point is to give this kind of criticism that helps the one uh, responsible for the band to actually take the release to a next level to uh, remove the basic flaws and mistakes that are so often happening with just one person in the band because let's be honest about it uh, we are deaf and blind to our own mistakes sometimes we might be way too critical there are bands that have been honing an album over and over and over again to a point it makes no sense because they are maybe too critical but with one man bands one man projects bedroom black metal bands and especially uh, the thing here is that way too often these bands do sloppy job they don't might necessarily you know play well enough especially if they're handling all the instruments well I mean they would, might be good with guitars or good with keyboards but then the vocals would suck the drums would suck maybe the bass is non-existent because the one cannot play for example I'm a sloppy guitar player I wouldn't touch the bass because it would suck even more I can do probably vocals way better than anything else but that's beside the point um, and the other thing is obviously that when one is about to record is this understanding and level of equipment you know enough how does this person who has recorded all the instruments how does he or she know uh, what, what kind of uh, production is good enough and uh, how does the mixing go how does the mastering go everything has to fall in place and if it's only one person doing this whole job from the very start to the very end and there's nobody to watch or listen to that stuff it's very easy to just have a lot of mistakes or pure laziness involved with the music we've all known I mean I mean everybody who has ever wrote any kind of music or lyrics not to mention recording it probably has has had this kind of feeling like okay I'm like played this like uh, 20 times I'm, I'm just I don't I'm not gonna do it again I'm just gonna like give up maybe the take number 18 is, is just you know it's, it's it must be enough I, I cannot play this anymore it's just you know blowing my brain and while that might be true it's often not maybe you should just you know uh, do another day take a day off and do it the next day or the day the day after that but having to uh, or settling more like to a uh, outcome to a result which you are not totally happy it's a kind of a road to failure and even one part like one instrument or one other major big part of an album can actually ruin it I mean we probably all have heard albums which like basically everything is nice but the vocalist totally sucks maybe because he or she is not exactly good maybe out of tone out of whatever or maybe the drummer is so crappy I know I, I have some albums which I do a lot by the way but with, with where the drummer isn't exactly on par with the rest of the music I'm not saying it always ruins but there's a big possibility for that also the same applies to uh, production in general maybe the guitar sound is so goddamn annoying and weak that even the good riffs are just drowned in pile of garbage and that could be basically anything else so settling for um, kind of a 
sloppy playing is not a good solution but there's nobody to you know keep the whipping like oh psh, do it again you can do it better usually those people are right i mean there's no point to do it like 100 times probably but suddenly with like first go just because you feel like it's good enough probably isn't your best you can deliver and if it is maybe you shouldn't be doing it alone in the first place so even though there are a lot of uh, good sides of doing it all alone like i said no bitching band members nobody is giving you hard time for scheduling etc uh there are more downsides in my opinion to doing music just by one person and while there are good solo bands and solo projects there have been those throughout the years some people can just master that but usually even them they have uh, the help from the others maybe it's at the studio maybe it's uh even when they're recording you know composing writing lyrics or just you know having those raw demo phases and this is by the way another topic i totally need to address the importance of demoing your material and that is also one of the critical process first you have these tracks okay you probably recorded in some crappy device give it a listen are they worth going for your album or maybe do you need to adjust remove some parts add something maybe some song, songs just don't feel right and if they don't feel right at that point don't go for them you know for the album i mean you can get disappointed on your album anyway later on even if you think that these are all five out of five star material but maybe if there's nobody else to say like dude you're totally wrong like you remove four out of those 10 tracks and then maybe you have some class a material but having just everything you just figure out from your eyes okay this riff is good i just recorded and blah 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 that's way to uh ruins that is way to crappy albums and there are a bunch bunch of albums and bands of bands uh, who have already been doing that while they shouldn't have so adjust yourself to this level of uh, healthy criticism not go overboard it but not trust yourself only have somebody who is maybe working for a label or who has a label of our own self or who has at least some kind of band studio recording experience just anybody with kind of a sense and lack of critic uh, like a level of critic who can totally give you the feedback honest feedback not some bullshit crap which doesn't actually help you at all I don't know what you think maybe I'm totally wrong if you have good ideas which one-man projects have you know succeeded all the way down please give me samples I know a few but I won't be naming them for you I will either comment I don't agree with you or hey I haven't heard of this band or maybe I will just like disagree agree whatever but for yourself if you are a one-man band one woman band one whatever gender band ask yourself are you having all those necessary skills do you have the understanding do you have those talents skill set the equipment that is enough for your band and if so is it still good enough for a label to actually release it and make it worthwhile these are all questions which have no absolute correct answers there are plenty of ways to see these this is just my opinion so before you go offended and go full troll on the comment box just ask yourself these questions and consider for like one second if i might have a point here anyway thank you for watching thank you for listening see you soon with more beer related well beer infused opinions take care listen to some good music and adios